Hello and welcome to the second part of fireworks animation using a light motion. The link to the part 1 can be found in the description. In that we created this simple animation which looks like the rockets are moving from the ground toward the sky. In this part we will show the firework in the sky. So let's start. Click on the plus button. Go to the elements tab. Click on download elements. As we need some elements which are already available on a light motion elements web page. So you will need the internet connection for this step. Scroll down. At the very bottom there are two burst. One is line burst one. Another one is double dot burst. We want to download both of them both of them or we want to import them click on import it will download the project package do the same for double dot burst okay move the timeline around this point or around the first second because we want to show the firework in the sky only when the rockets are starting to vanish. Click on the plus button, go to the elements again, at this point insert line burst 1. Move the timeline further. Now you can see the line burst animation how it looks like. So from the center the lines are emerging, expanding and then vanishing. We need to move the line burst to the correct position which is should be after the line 1 and the line 1 is this one yeah which is hiding and then showing. Let's move the line burst at the top or at the end point of the first rocket. Go to the move and transform. Make it visible so that you can see it where you are moving. So at the end point of this line, go to the skew. If you keep it flat, it won't look realistic. To make it look more realistic, we need to use skew option so it will deform in different planes. So go around angle. 35. Now it looks a little bit realistic. You can play with y axis also if you would like. So let's keep 5 degrees. Now it looks better. Go to the scale option, reduce it so that it fits inside the screen. Okay. Now it's the scaling is okay. Let's see the animation. It looks better. Now instead of white we want it to be colorful. So select line burst one, go to the effects, click on add effect, under color and light, select solid color, select standard settings add a keyframe for the color first color let's keep red you can choose any color you want and after every two three seconds let's change the color so first color should be darker than the lighter so that it will show good transition between the different colors go a little bit lighter again At around this point, change it to green. Again, go one two seconds further, make it more darker. At this point, let's select light blue. Now we can repeat the colors. But 
बन सकेंगे ड्यू इट सच अ टाइम लाइक टू थ्री सेकेंड्स अदरवाइज इट विल चेंज वेरी फास्ट let's see how it is looking yeah it seems good to me let's select this line i will duplicate the layer let's move this up we want one at the left one at the center and one at the right hand side so let's find the center line i think this is the center line so i will go here and move this layer a little bit so that it overlaps around this point click on this second line first go to the move and transform move the timeline so that we can see where we are moving Okay, go to the skew options. We need to make it completely flat. So around ninety for x axis, y. We will give zero. Okay, this much is okay for me. I will reduce x to ninety again. This around twenty. Let's increase it a little bit to make it look more flatter. Yeah, this is okay now. Let's play again. Good. Select this layer, duplicate it again, move it around the right hand side. So completely at the top. Move it to overlap with the line below it. I will select it. Go to the move and transform. Move it to the end point of that line. Go to the skew options. this time the x should be on the positive side like this and y maybe around minus 5 or 6 i think this much is okay this one is starting a little bit late so i will Move it a little bit backwards. It looks better now. So we have in total six lines, and there are three line burst. Now we will add three double dot burst in similar fashion. I will go to plus button, select elements, 
then select double dot post let's check how it looks like it looks better select one of the line post go to the effects expand it click on these three dots copy the effect select double dot post go to the effects sorry there are three dots on the left hand side click on that and then say paste effect so these are added automatically from the previous one as double dots plus animation is longer i will move these points to adjust them so the transition is not that fast and it looks more cooler once again i will check it looks better now for a moment i will hide it or switch off that animation like we added line pos at three position left center and the rightmost the double dot was we need to add in a similar fashion left center and the right one move this layer near to this line just to show the overlap adjust the layer to this position select the double dot double dot post go to the move and transform center of this animation should be around the end point of the first line go to the skew transform change the x q to minus value around 30 even if you don't change the y it it is okay like this but if you want you can go to the scale reduce the scaling so that fits the screen okay it looks good to me select this layer then duplicate it so we don't need to do like adding effects and all those steps again move it above this line select it move to the pink line go to the skew options to make it more flatter play with this values yeah how it looks more flatter i will keep it that way and the last one again duplicate this layer move it up so overlap the timing for this one also select the double dots double dot burst layer align it to the end point of the line approximately go to the skew change the x value to the positive 30 degree approximately
this one looks okay to me let's play the animation Ah, it looks good to me now click on layer button select all layers group them I think there was some bug because we did not see the group one select group one duplicate the layer select it make it little bit faster select again duplicate go to the timing increase the speed shift the timelines for these groups by few seconds duplicate both groups and again pick the timings and the firework animation is ready I think due to handset performance issues the animation is looking not smooth or little bit choppy but once you export the video it will look very smooth for similar tutorials please like my video subscribe to my channel which will motivate me to create such type of tutorials using light motion thanks a lot